Hi, I'm Fritz with Greenbelt TV. Today we're at the Greenleaf Inn and we're going to do some detective work today using a blower door to determine how much air leakage there is in the building that's currently built here before we do construction on it so we can see how well we did sealing up all the cracks. We actually install a blower door here to replace this door and what it does is it blows and sucks all the air out of the house so it depressurizes the home. In fact, that pressure is approximately like a 20 mile an hour wind blowing in on all four sides of your house. We've got the uh, pressure hose now attached to the fan. Okay, this is going to give us the actual cubic foot per minute flow rate of the house and we'll explain what that is about. And then on the other side now we've hooked up our green reference holes to the outside. This channel is telling us the house pressure versus the outside and that's real important because we're trying to hit this minus 50 number on here for our test standard and again this is a national test standard with a blower door uh, this side again will measure the flow rate and this is the amount of air leakage in the house we are depressurizing the house with this blower door this particular test setup and depressurization of the house shows us where all the air infiltration is this reading on on the right side is going to be the actual flow rate so we're at minus 50 and we're at 2991 cubic feet per minute well, what does that mean well on the house this size it's moderately the air leakage is a moderate problem 2991 means the hole in the house is 299 square inches or approximately 300 square inches so that is a hole that is 15 inches by 20 inches, open all the time. So the idea is we want to airtight this house up better, make it air sealed better, and reduce this number. And that will lower their heating and cooling bills. So the next thing we're going to do is walk around and see where maybe some of this air is coming from. We're looking at a recessed light up in the cathedral ceiling, and it looks a little cold around that light. Well, this is telling us today in this test that there's probably some air leakage around that recessed light housing. We need to see these area, these are caulked, we're using expanding foam, and this will take care of air leakage around the assembly. It's important to have the shell of the house, the exterior walls, the areas around the door frame, the windows, any open holes in the exterior shell to be sealed up properly. So now that we're done with the blower door test and the thermal scan of the entire building, we're going to be able to take a look on after we do the renovation in order to do the same test and see how well we improved the entire building envelope.